You may be seated. Hello, Your Honor. Hello. This is the case of Bosley versus Jackson. Thank you, Jerome. Good day, everyone. Ms. Bosley, you and your son have petitioned the court for a DNA test because you are certain he did not father the defendant's three-month-old son, Maverick, and there are two other possible fathers. You say your son made a young and dumb mistake by signing the birth certificate, and you need today's paternity results to get his name off of it. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Jackson, you admit to cheating with another man, but claim to be certain that Mr. Bosley is Maverick's biological father. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. So, Ms. Bosley, explain why you opened the case. Well, I opened the case because I feel like my son made a terrible decision by signing a birth certificate. You know, basically, I just feel like, you know, we need to know. We need to know because I don't want my son to have to go through life wondering if this is his child or not. So you feel like you got to save your son from a mistake he made? I do. Mr. Bosley, you signed a birth certificate. Yes, even sir. though you had doubts? I did sign the birth certificate, not saying it was it wasn't the right thing. It was stupid, because I didn't I didn't know her. So, Miss Jackson, Mr. Bosley says he made a mistake. Well, my testimony is in the beginning we were we were working together, and he was starting off like, "Oh, I love you. Do you believe in first love at first sight?" And then the next day, well, the next day we was talking, we was, and then we had sex, and then. He was talking about, you know, the kids and all of that. And then I asked for a break because we were moving too fast. I already said that we was moving too fast in the beginning. So, you meet and you almost immediately start a sexual relationship. Correct, Your Honor. And start talking about having babies? Correct. At first, I didn't believe it because I heard it once before. So Yeah, because you, you know that... that's what men will say yes. just to get you to lay yes, down with them. Yes, Your Honor. Yes. They make it sound like they want to have a family. Mm-hmm. Yes, Your Honor. But they saying it to everybody. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. So, you do sleep with him? Yes. And then, you know, I think I had my own place at that time, and he... I moved him in. Oh. Then that's when oh. the cheating... I made my mistake. I'm sorry. I made my mistake in the beginning of that two weeks of me not... of me not knowing if this is real or not. So, Mr. Bosley... So, Your Honor... Well, Your Honor, the, 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 the situation was how she told me. We was, she, we was at the house chilling, relaxing, and she basically came from out of nowhere. A dude, came, uh, one of her ex-boyfriends, popped up at the house. Yeah. Wow. Popped up okay. at the house. Down. Popped up? Yeah. So... <laughs> no. He, no, wait, what, what happened? He popped up at the house, and she, she went to go talk to him for a little minute or what so. But the whole time, I'm looking out the window trying to make sure, you know, ain't nothing going on. But at the time, I was fine with that because we wasn't really... We wasn't really together. We was just talking. We didn't never fully get together until... So you sitting... But you wasn't fine with it because you were looking out the window while she was talking. Because I just wanted to make sure, you know? Exactly, because you weren't fine with it. You... You have admitted, Ms. Jackson, I made a mistake. You used the word cheating and then you cleaned it up and said a mistake. Mm-hmm. What happened? You tell me, because I can't get it out of Mr. Bosley. I had gave oral sex to this person. Oh. And I don't... I don't... And... What and man... He, Your Honor, says... What man will believe that she only gave you oral sex? This is exactly why y'all don't have no business young, running around here, using sex like it's like a, 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 an extracurricular activity. Right. And, Your Honor, just to interject, if you don't mind... Just to interject, if you don't... if you don't mind, I wasn't there during the whole sex and cheating thing. I found out she was pregnant at maybe about four months, maybe. And I told my son immediately, that's not your baby. Like, you've been with her not even long enough. So, Ms. Jackson, when you found out you were pregnant, mm -hmm. you told Mr. Bosley? Yes, Your Honor. And then he was like, Oh, wow, you are. You know, he was excited about the situation. Your, Your and Honor. then... And Your then... Honor, and y'all had known each other all of two months then, and y'all was excited? It was, it, it was, it was, it was <laughs> two months. It was a month. Honor. It was a month. Yep. No, I wasn't excited. <laughs> the two guys she cheated on me with, those was the guys that 
we worked <laughs> together with. Oh, so all of you all co-workers? Yes, we all was co-workers. Your Honor, I only cheated on him no, once. I didn't. And that's with the person that was at work. But I did have sex with two... with one other person that was there at the... at the job. And that was the person that came to the house. The other person that I didn't have or sex or... This sex is with. a mess! This <laughs> is a mess! Yeah. How many... how many people you gonna sleep with at the same job? When are you working? That's why I'm here. This baby... this baby... Right. Is what matters. And clearly, this situation here, nobody knows anything. All they know is that they were just sleeping. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. It just adds up that she has slept with three men on her job. There should be no young woman out here sleeping with three men at her job. And that's why I'm like, what's going on here? I feel like, Your Honor, it goes a bit deeper than that. Because oh, oh, we it's just deep. don't no, have it's women deeper. out here sleeping with men on their jobs. Like, something is a bit deeper than oh, that. I don't no. know what it is. Oh, no, 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 no. No. It does go dance. deeper. It does go deeper than that. This is about two kids, yeah. young people. You are out here spinning and you're engaging in activities that create people, and it did. Maverick is three months old, beautiful, innocent mm -hmm. child. Mm -hmm. And I'm trying to get the circumstances as to what was going on when he was conceived, and you can't even tell the story. My last menstrual cycle was March 14th. And when I did have oral sex with that person, I was on my menstrual cycle at that time. This is not about just the oral sex. You need to understand this, Ms. Jacks. Mm -hmm. This is about the fact that your child's paternity is in question. If you have slept with two coworkers, given oral sex to one, while you supposedly getting to know Mr. Bosley, no, it's not so far-fetched that people would also assume that you may have slept with that person or maybe even another person. At this point, you giving yourself away for free. And that's another thing that I haven't gotten to yet. Because there is no reason a beautiful young girl like yourself should be running around here laying around with this many men. It's unacceptable. I'm not saying this to you. Look at me when I'm talking to you, Ms. Jackson. I'm not saying this to you because I'm angry at you. I'm saying it to you because I don't know if you have anybody in your life to sit you down and say, you don't do that. You don't do that. Did you grow up with your dad in your life? No. <laughs> He denied me, too. And it hurts. It hurts. <laughs> I understand. I don't want my son to grow up like that without his dad in the picture because I know how it feels and I have my daddy issues. And growing up is hard. I understand <laughs> what you're saying. The way you feel about that, your actions are a reflection of the fact that you don't feel worthy. But that's not the way we go about it, baby. Because now you see what has transpired has led you to repeat the cycle. And that's what we're gonna break today. Yeah. Somehow, someway. <laughs> so, Mom, I wanna ask you, you say you know who Maverick's biological father is. Well, well, you, well Your Honor, well, I was actually how, how the situation went about. Um, I was in her phone one day, and I scrolled down. I was I was on Snapchat basically, and I had seen the dude, and I I said he looked whoa, he looked just like my son. <laughs> I'm like what, well, like Your Honor, he sent me that picture, and immediately, just in all honesty. I was like, that's not your son. Mm -hmm. Immediately, because 
This made me think twice. And, Mom, once you got that picture, once you got... believe oh, yeah. this other For man sure. is the father. For sure. Well, you submitted the messages you saw. See, look. And this is between Ms. Jackson and the man you believe is the father. It says, I need some blank. That's what Ms. Jackson said. He responds, blank, you can come this way, babe. And then Ms. Jackson responds, blank, hell yeah. <laughs> so, so, Your Honor, he resembles this man. And so, eyes. you think this other man is Maverick's biological Could father? Possibly be. <laughs> possibly. Well, this other man is here. And I want to wow. hear from you. Jerome, will you please escort the other gentleman yes. into the courtroom? Right up here. Stay to the left. Let's see. Right up here. Mr. Green, thank you for joining us today. Yes, ma'am. I want to ask you, what's your relationship with Ms. Jackson? We met through a friend, and then we started talking through social media. All right, so was Ms. Jackson interested in a sexual relationship with you? Yes, Jonna, she was trying to have sex. So, do you believe you are Maverick's biological father? No I, no, no, I don't. I just came here to prove that I'm not. So, each of the young men have submitted their baby photos, and when you align them with Mavericks, there's Mr. Bosley as a baby, there's Maverick in the middle, and then Mr. Green as a baby. I just want to know. That's all I'm really... I, you know, it's, it's, it's a kid on the line, and... No disrespect to you. That's why I called you up that day, you know. Mm -hmm. It's not a kid. It's I just, a child. just want to know. And at this point, what are you hoping for, Mr. Bosley? Do you hope Maverick is your son? Yeah, I do. Okay. If he, if he minds, then we can move on. But if he's not minds, I'm gone. It's as simple. What are your hopes, Ms. Jackson? What are you hoping for? I know you want to break the cycle for your beautiful son. I want him to step up. Mm -hmm. Walking in the house and going back out, that's not enough time. Mm -hmm. Because that's... It feels like that's what happens to me. Your Honor, if I can just interject. My son, I love him. However, he's wrong in this, too. Because you can't just keep running around making babies and not doing what you're supposed to be doing for them. <laughs> Period. <laughs> I told Pearl, when I saw that picture, I felt like, okay, this is not my son's baby. So, we've had a conversation. Even if it's not his baby, I'm still going to extend the olive branch to her. Well, the olive branch... <laughs> the olive branch has been extended and accepted because your son signed the birth certificate. Oh, yeah, for sure. But I even asked him, did he want to sign the birth certificate? She didn't ask me Yes, that. I did. So Why did you remember? sign it? What? Same way he was sitting was out there looking my... out the window you... while she was sitting in the car <laughs> with another man. And the same reason why she came back in and said she had had oral sex with another guy I, I and he still moved I felt in. Like he was mine. And the same reason that, why that's, that's he it. looked at them and... messages and is still in here. It's the same reason why. Jerome, I'm ready for the results. <laughs> These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics. And they read as follows. In the case of Bosley versus Jackson, pertaining to whether Mr. Bosley or Mr. Green is the father of three-month-old Maverick Bosley, it has been determined by this court. The biological father is Mr. Bosley. <laughs> that is awesome. your son. Okay. Your I... biological son. Well, that's... It's off my chest. That's all I came here for. That's all I wanted. I wanted him to be mine, so that's all we got what we came here for. I'm happy. I'm happy for Maverick. But the way you have approached your sexual relationships thus far makes me want to caution you that if you continue to use sex as just an activity, 
that you will end up here again. And if he tells you a half a line or tells you you look cute today, you gonna be back up there with him and you know I'm telling you the truth. That's why I see that tear. You know what I'm saying, right? Yes, Your Honor. And every woman has that moment. The next thing you know, you in the bed, halfway down to making another baby with him. And I think you know what I'm saying. I can see it in your eyes. You get it, right? Yes, Your Honor. I just can't stand to see a beautiful young woman just give herself away. And you, 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 you ask, you gotta ask God for discernment. Mm -hmm. I'm, what am I, about to be 50, Jerome? I'm about to be 50 years old. I still ask God, I pray for discernment. Yes. Let me be able to see what's really going on. Right? Yes, Your Honor. And that's yeah. what I want for you. I have Dr. Jeff standing by for all of you because I feel like we're at a real breakthrough point and I think you see why you've been behaving the way you've been behaving and what you're looking for but we cannot seek comfort under the covers. Right? Yes, Your Honor. I wish you all the very best. Court is adjourned.